Ground Zero. Some of us have never visited Ground Zero before, and some of us are all too familiar with Ground Zero. But no matter which side of the scale in which you reside, Ground Zero is a thing. Personally, I could tell you, don't be afraid of it. So what is Ground Zero? It can be a very scary place in which you can easily become depressed or just feel this never-ending feeling of sorrow, or it could be a salvation and a good chance to start anew. But like I said before, no matter what end of the spectrum that you stand on, it's okay to be at ground zero. Time to time, as a creative myself, I struggle with ground zero. Sometimes, you know, I feel as though I'm at this certain age, I'm at this certain point, I should be here. And even with all the success that I've obtained personally and the things that I've done and I've achieved, I'm still never satisfied. And even right now in my life, with me having my own studio, you know, and all these big things coming my way, um, I've had to revisit ground zero. I've had to break myself down and understand how far I've come and where I'm going and what got me here. And sometimes we get so caught up in what we have to do and we don't stop to take two seconds and say, I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing everything I can. I'm making it work. I'm not quitting. And I'm busting my ass every single day to make sure I'm that person that I see in my mind's eye. I myself come from the mud, meaning that I had to work my ass off for everything that I ever got. Nothing was ever handed to me on a silver platter. Uh, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. So when I hit ground zero, when I hit rock bottom, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally. I have to remind myself of what I didn't have before I got here. And then I also have to remind myself of if I didn't have that when I got here and I have it now that I got here, I could lose it all and do it all over again because I'm too familiar with ground zero. And once you understand that power that you yourself have to get yourself out of any situation or do anything that you put your mind to, you'll never be afraid of ground zero ever again. I never found joy in the things that I've accomplished, but I've always found joy in the excitement that I have and the optimism that I have for the things that I'm about to achieve and the things that I'm about to, you know, the levels that I'm about to hit. So when you're no longer afraid of falling down, you can only get excited about just going up. So trust and believe when I tell you, and ground zero could be whatever you interpret it as, whether it be depression, defeat, sadness, or happiness. One thing that I've always said to myself and that I've truly believed and I'm a walking testament of, people aren't successful because they don't have the proper resources, because of where they come from, or because they're a product of their environment, or whatever shortcoming you may think that you personally have. People aren't successful because they don't keep promises to themselves. So when you're at a certain point in life and you feel defeated and you feel like things, things can't get any worse and they're not gonna get better, understand that you're at ground zero and you have to root yourself in that moment and pick yourself up, make a promise to yourself and keep that promise to yourself first. That starts, that, that, that is the, the, the core foundation of getting yourself out of anything or putting yourself in a better situation. It's not about what you don't have and what you can't do. It's about what you're going to have and what you are going to do to get yourself where you need to go. So whenever you find yourself at ground zero, remember, that you have so much more to obtain, do, and achieve as long as you keep your promise to yourself to get yourself out of that funk mentally and physically. So with that being said, I hope you guys took something from what I said. If you've identified with anything that I've said in this video, I hope you can take my words and apply it to yourself and take yourself to the next level. That's about it. And that's out. Whole lot of gang shit. Peace, love, and pickle juice, baby. Ah.